Okay, we are starting with Nobody's Diary. Right here with Jime Jime. Starting from Jime Jime. Hi. Um, Jime Jime Shitai Yanai. Um, Henkida. So it means that the weather was not good. Iya, Iyana is not good. And that it was damp. Um, tachi no warui kaze o ite shimatta rashi. Tachi no warui. It's an adjective that means very bad. Hi. Nasty. Kaze o is the object. Hi. And the action is hitte. Hi. Shimatarashi. Okay, so nobody said in his diary that. I seem to have caught a bad cold. Hi. Uh, son. No, this is Mitsuha. Hmm. Mitsuka. We wait, Mitsuka. There's something in here that's a little bit odd. Do you have any idea what it might be? Ah, uh, the t. Glado, stop. So, so. Mika. Mika. Meno. Asawa on the third day. Dobu Nezumi no Mure o Awaseta Yori mo Hara Peko de Mega Aza Meta. On the third day. I, I'm hungrier, harabeko. I am hungrier than that of a collection of rat. Hi. I am hungrier than the whole bunch of rat. So, so. Um, and with that state of hunger, I woke up. Hi. Mega. I woke up hungrier than a whole herd of hat rats. Um, ya ne ura be ya no mado kara buki konde kuru kaze wa the wind that blew in from the window of the attic. Now, the next adverb is from the scary dinosaur. Hi, it is. Scary dinosaur. Also is how it's read. Also. Thank you, Mani. Also, shiku. Terrifying. Hi. Tumetai. A terrified chill. Cold. Hi. Terribly cold. What was terribly cold? The wind. The kazewa is terribly cold. And ana no aida aida refer to the space. Mm, aida means I'm open. Like there's a I'm... hole opened up in the mofu. Hi. Um, ano Ana no aita mofu ni at the blanket that has a hole opening. Kuru mata mama. Kuru to come mata. That's a good guess, but kuru maru is a verb. So ah. if you thought it was kuru plus 
mata. That would make mata into a noun, which is very odd to have a glottal stop ta in a word to be a noun. That almost always insinuates ta form, right? So by default, you should not have thought it was kudu because grammatically that makes zero sense to have that ta added here, right? That's like adding ing to, I don't know, like prettily ing. Like you're like, you saw the li and you're like, oh, we must add ling ing to that. But that's like odd or something. Like gra grammarly, the mata should point out there's something wrong there. Uh, so that matta is not separate. So kuru maru, I'm guessing it means wrap up. Yes. Or wrap in. I'm wrapping in the blanket. The blanket is the is the doer, the agent of the action here. Okay. Mark by knee. Mama, in that state, hashigo o. Oh. Sudate shitani orita. I went down the 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 um, the ladder. I went down the ladder. Perfect. While I was wrapped up in the blanket with holes, I went down the ladder. I followed the Height. ladder downstairs. Height. Sudate. Height. Dai. Ri seki no kaidan wa hadashi no ashi ni wa kori to awaranai ha kawaranai. Uh, the ice ah uh, no 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 for uh niwa as in hadashi no ashi niwa with regard to a bare bare feet i'm guessing this niwa mean with regard to yeah or for 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 bare feet. Right for my bare ice feet. It's no different from that. From of what? Marble stone stairs. Hi. So contextually, this means that the stairs of the house are probably made out of marble, and when his feet touches that marble, he's like, "Whew." That is cold because Khan doesn't have shoes. Hi. So the hashigo My is goodness. not the stairs. So this house was like three stories or something. So he went down from the attic on a little like rope ladder thing. And now he's going down the marble staircase. And he's like, wow, that is freezing. And then once he goes Wait, down. I yeah. Can I clarify something? Hi. Is it the case that nobody cares about his outfit and about the lice in his hair that would make him look bad but he doesn't care about the fact that he's walking around barefooted he kind of cares that's i think that's part of the whole assemble he's <laughs> <laughs> oh so he haven't bought him the new outfit yet he has not they okay. went to bed that, that nobody wrote his diary the night i saying okay gotta go get the kids in clothes he looks I like see. a street urchin i see i see i'm about to i'm about to say <laughs> poor poor con he hasn't had any shoes no shoes uh, no jacket poor con's freezing cold right now <laughs> all I he see. got no is a blanket he... with that's half eaten by moths man i i get it now i get it now uh, hi um nikai no dai dokoro dewa the kitchen on the second floor at the kitchen on the second floor wait wait um you, you skipped the line oh i'm sorry uh, i skipped something 
Um, oh, oh, oh. Ni kai. Ni kai. Ni. Padori tsu. Hakigi ni. No. Ni kai. Ni kai ni. Padori tsu. Koro. Ni wa karada ga hie kite ga ta gata to furuete ita. Ni kai ni tadori tsuku. Tadori tsuku. Koro ni wa. Right when I reached the second floor? Hi. Tarori. Oh, Tarori is the destination. Tarori, tarori means to arrive at. To arrive. Tsuku is to attach. So right no, when I arrive. Tsuku is to arrive and Tarori Tsuku is to arrive in a... It, it It's a little bit more of a, I guess, dramatic Tarori Tsuku. So here, they're using Tarori Tsuku. Because they're letting you know that the karada it kiete did. It it's it's putting focus on what happened when he arrived. Tsuku on its own just means arrive, but it doesn't have that focus added to things. So last time I told you it's like a final, like there's a pausing going on here. And while here he's not really pausing here, they're actually using this as a pause as in to focus on how kiete kitad he has become between getting down from his little staircase and going down those marble stairs. Um, so the difference between the hash, his room in the attic and the second, by the time he got to the second floor. All right, so here, Moni, do you know the difference between koro and tokoro? They're here pretty different. Tokoro is a place that has a little bit of a time connotation. Koro just means about, around. So around oh. the time I arrived on the second floor, blah, blah, blah. Koro is basically a more vague toki. I see. Like, chisai goro would mean when I was little. I see. Hi. So right about when I arrived at the second floor, the body, or he referred to my body, oh. kita was cold. It became cold. So kiru is like a complete thing. So it's like to be completely chilled. Oh. Kita here from the cut character. Hi. Not from kuru. Uh, so it's kita, cut. Completely chill, completely cold. And... Gata gata to furuete ita. It was shivering. Yeah, gata was gata, shivering. like uh, teeth sh teeth clattering, shiver. Right. Grammatically, how did we know hiete kite was not kuru? How did we know that? There's two hints in here. So the te form of kuru is also kite. Is it? The te form of kuru. Kuru is kite. It doesn't have a glottal stop in it. Ah, no glottal stop. So that's the Kuru. one one notice. Do you know what the second thing is? It has to do with word formation. If it was kite belonging to kuru, then the he eh, it would have been hiete kite. Yeah, hiete kite. Exactly. It'd be te form. Because kuru is not actually a building block for compound words. So the fact that we have stem form here being added to something shows that this kite here cannot, this kite cannot be kuru as well. Because kuru is not used for um, compound words. Neither so is like kuru. iru or iku because they're used as helping verbs instead. So if you wanted to convey that, you would use something else. I see. So kuru would fall in the category of iru and aru, Hi. helper verbs. 
わかった。にかいのだいどころでは、ベネットが大きな暖炉で、たきぎに、気をつけようとしてるところだった。ベネット。On the second floor in the kitchen, ベネット was by the large fireplace and he was at the point. I'm guessing he was still trying、はい、to feed the fire. Well, to make a fire. Why? Well, like, if, if, the, if the house is so cold that the main character has completely frozen to death by, he, by the time he's arrived on the second floor, why would there be a fire on the second floor already?、はい、It's so cold, you would think the room would be slightly warmer than the attic if there was a fire in there. Hi. So he's、Hi. still trying to make the fire. Hi. Here we have. Taki- so the takiki, you can't make a fire without takiki, right? Fire needs something to burn. So he has firewood that he's putting to make a fire with. He's not making the fire out of nothing. And he's also not making the fire out of coal. He's trying to make a fire out of firewood. Money,、right. why do you think the knee mark the takigi? Well, hyo tsukeru just means to make a flame, to set fire to, to ignite. So he's trying to set the wood on fire. I、so. see. I was thinking that they would use the instrumental, like, like de. Takigi de, with the firewood. He tried to make a fire. It depends he... on the grammar. So I guess here it's、uh, to attach flame. Like you said, that's what it's saying here. So it's saying, I want to make flame attached to the firewood in order to make a fire in the fireplace. So he's、Hi. able to make a spark probably somehow, either with, guess... like, by hitting some rocks together or something like that. So it would be more proper to say that he is trying to light the firewood. Yes. And that's that. where the knee is there. He's trying to make a flame that would attach to the fire. Makes sense. Perfect.、So、it, it just follows the normal grammar for the tukeru.、Um, but we just don't really use tukeru to refer to fire being made. So that's what makes it confusing. Because instead, we'd say you want to make a fire. You don't really say, oh, I want to catch the wood on fire. Like that's like not natural English. But it's、Hi. so, yeah. はい、わかった。Um, 大どころに入るとベネットが Right after I went into the kitchen Right when I went to the kitchen ベネット俺をギロリとにらみ。にらみ is to stare. Hmm, what kind of stare? No, I'm sorry, it's not a stare. It's a glare. Hi, hi. It's a mean look. And this look is described as being girori. Which is kind、oh. of like a starey glare. A starey glare. <laughs> you want to see what the sound effect is?、Look. It's goggling. Hi, giro. <laughs> goggling, goggling stares. Okay, so <laughs> he stared goggly at me. Uh, he glares g- goggly at me. Does he glares at me? Don't, we don't need to do the sound effects.、Um, <laughs> the Haidan o no soba no bucket to o you be saseta. So sas dusty ta here is in the Causative form. He caused his finger to point, right? No. Causative no? form could be sa se do or a se do. 
There's no set in here. It's she. Yubi she. Sasu. Sasu and Yubi Sasu, for all intents and purposes, are basically the exact same word. So here it's simply in the ta form. It is yes. Yubi Sasu in the ta form. Yubi Sashita. He Sashita. pointed. He pointed at the bucket by the side of the stairs. Hi. Perfect. Period. Uh now we can Hi. go to our story. Can you read this word for me? Kumu. Perfect. So kumu, which has this nice water radical here, is to scoop up water. And it doesn't have to be like to scoop up with a hand or anything that's any kind of way you're moving water basically is kumu. Just scoop up tends to be a good word to use, but it's it just means you are picking up water somehow. Kumu. Hi. So this Kumu. kanji is read as how? It read as ku. Kumu. What's volational form? The I'm going to form of kumu. Volational. So ku. Mo. Kumo. Kumo. Going to. Let's go read the sentence. The sentence, Mizu o kumo to omota. I thought I'm going to scoop water. Perfect. Um, do you know what e means when it's after a if statement? If statement. Right, like tada to itara. Demo. It means that. It would be okay for such an action. Yeah, it is that is committed. what it means. Like, what's a good idea if it's okay? Anything like that. Um, this specific one is more like, what should we do? But yeah, do you know what um this means? Mireba from miru, but here in the if form of the verb. Perfect. So if you so look, it's if look. Perfect. What's the te form of this word? The te form here is for the mu ending is unde, so ku, unde, kunde. Yeah, kunde. Mani, I have a quick question about Hi. the erba constructions. Hi. Um, when would a per when would a, an author use the if in the eba form as opposed to a tara form? Um, eba is just has no insinuation is, is how I'll say it. Well, Tada has that the next time this event occurs meaning. So one is a general category of Yeah. If. So in this sentence, for example, it says if someone would look at any moment, uh, well, I guess at this moment, but if, if you would look, then this is what you would see. You would see that Nebody has um, gripped his cane very aggressively. But if you said tada, that would insinuate instead that when I looked, I could see this. But it's it's more of a, this is more like a descriptor. Like if one would look at Nebody, you would see this. Even though the con did look at Nebody, it feels more literally than just a cause and effect what was going on. Like tada doesn't have that. It, it, tada would have been really boring here. <laughs> Meet tada. So it's like right after I looked, I could see this, but it's this is more, this flows better in the sentence. But in general, the the tada really focuses on right and basically when one specific person does this thing, like when this happens, and I do this. Mm. I do. Hi. Um, but yeah, in, in general, uh, neba is just kind of like I would say generic. As far as like when you would use it, like, but it also in that specific sense, it sounds more fun. <laughs> it, it doesn't. It just it doesn't insinuate the other things that the thing <laughs> insinuates. <laughs> so it feels better there. <laughs> um, uh, I, I feel like this makes more sense if you read this sentence. So we'll be reading the sentence in the book. Hi. I, I guess I'll I'll pay attention to it. Um, he say hi hi. Well, he didn't say he. Maybe he, he did say. 
He's gone. So Khan doesn't talk out loud very much. He's almost like one of those like mute anime protagonists that never talk. But instead he talks a lot in his brain. So very like visual novel. I see. <laughs> we, we we are now accessing his mental uh dialogue. Um, <laughs> hi hi. Wakari Masta yo. Once again, he 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 gave off that I yeah, already yeah, know kind of feeling. Yeah, yeah. Um Mizu. Oh Konde Kunde Mizio Kunde Kureba E Indaro is probably good. So he, he's if, translating um Nebody's pointing. So this is what uh Nebody said. Miz kunde reba e kind of. That's that's what Bennett um said with his glare. If scoop water probably good. Yeah, it'd be good. So good. the dado is hit is the this is probably what he's trying to say. You it, you should um scoop water. Ah, okay, cool. He's so, translating the intention of Bennett into Hi. words. So you see, Tara here doesn't really work. Mizo kundara in. That, that's not really like translating what nobody was saying. That's more like a general. In this case, it'd just be like, if I scoop water right at this moment, that'd be good for us. Like maybe we need water for something. But Hi. over here, it's not really insinuating that. It just means if water would be scooped, that would be good. But it doesn't have like that extra right now insinuation, which which sound which does sound weird. It's kind of like how koto, you know, it's kind of like general. How you can add that to things like, like the koto. act of scooping would be good, versus yeah. like no is more specific. So no is like tara, and neba is more like koto. So a lot of times they're interchangeable, but they do have that slightly different. Tara feels more specific. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> like money like last lesson we had this uh the word truth that you showed me uh one was on the inside and the other was on the outside oh can you shin, say it again was it like shin setsu shin setsu Tr the word for true oh shin last last lesson yeah you showed it to me and you say one was on the inside yeah and the other was on the outside basically yeah. thank you Shin so is I, the inside and jitsu is the outside. Hi. And suddenly when you talk about the koto and the no, I'm kind of linking that idea to this idea of like the koto describe the whole categories of things, <laughs> including the things that is not happening to the particular in reality. Yeah. And then when you go to the no, now you're talking about particular events, yeah. actual reality event. It seems that there is a, some sort of a conceptual categories going on here. Same with mm -hmm. this eba and this tara. Tara seems to be more on the setsu side, as in like actual event. If yeah. this actual event happened, then this actual outcome would happen. Whereas eba is a whole category of, of like a platonic conception, you know? Mm -hmm. Like if this happened, that happened, but it doesn't have to be like in the real world. Yeah, It could be in some formulaic conception I, I don't know how to describe it seems to me that way yeah that, that seems like a fun way of thinking about it. that seems pretty accurate that there's that outside reality and inside reality a lot of times when people talk about Japanese especially like if they don't know anything about Japanese they'll talk about an in group and an out group it's like very common that's like the Hi. the mystical wa thingy <laughs> like learn Japanese culture weird books you have to read for stuff um that, that kind of like copies that same kind of general idea of separating a in truth from an outside truth hi uh, that hi. does seem to be a big thing in understanding Japanese culture from an outside point of view uh Fuck at that. Do, do, do. Um, this word right here means well. How do you think you say it? Uh, ito. So normally it would be tall, but we do have rendaku here. Ido. Ido. Money. The word for ceiling is also this character, e, right? Tenjo? 
Tenjo. Yes. No, it's not. Oh, it is. So here it's pronounced as Jo. Right. But in this case for a well, it's E. Hi, 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 hi. Edo. Yeah. Edo. I'm not I'm not sure what the rule of that is because I feel like both of these are isolated readings. I feel like when these uh different uh on yomi reading comes up, it tends to be dependent on the position of the kanji. Mm. If it's in the pre-position, like if it's the first position, then it's read one way. And if it's in the post position, it might read another way. I I had came across this particular uh situation before. Yeah, right? that, this one that kanji had is two something different that sometimes readings. happens. I feel like those yeah. will always work. But that does tend to be like something I feel like I remember. Right. No, like it had two on reading and it had um, multiple mm -hmm. kun reading as well. Right. Sometimes the difference is just one of them is when it's on its own. Like Aida is when it's on its own. But if it's doing the reading when it's married, like hiru, Hiruma, it gets read as Ma when it's in compound words, but on its own reading for compound words versus like Shukan. Um, Shun gan. Shun gan. One step. The sometimes the difference is not that. So you always have to like keep an eye out for things like that. Cause um like so here the difference is just this is the friends with benefits reading, single reading, and um married reading. Own so that's reading. actually how they separated it rather than the positioning thing. Though this one might be the positioning thing. That that is definitely possible. We'd have to look it up on the dictionary. Um, Hi. So oh, Edo. Yeah. Yeah, Edo. It, it, well. It's a well, but they just use the kanji for window or for door. Hi, hi, hi. Like a, like a door to a well. So rather almost. than the flat thing on the roof, it is the flat thing on the door. <laughs> Very hi. random. No, it makes sense. It's it's they they used to have a covering on on wells, like a door flap on a well. I seen that in Inuyasha. Uh, meshi sky wa ido de mizu o kunda. It means uh scoop water from the well. The servant scoop water from the well. Right. So yeah, while you were doing that, I quickly just searched up this kanji in the dictionary, and it looks like Tenjo is just an exception reading. Oh. E every other time when we have this kanji with other kanji, it looks like it's read as E when it's in the um, transfer benefits, and then say when it's um, married. Um, otherwise, the only one that gets the Jo reading is Tenjo. So that looks like it's just a... Say. Say. Exception. It's on reading is say, say, as in yep. S D say, hi, yep. say. And then E. So looks like you can't use that rule with it. I feel like that rule that you that you thought of is something that a lot of students think, and then we find out it's not true. And it just, <laughs> I feel like that's how that one always works. Um, because you go like, yeah, that's what it is, but instead it's just this is just one <laughs> random exception, or it's the like I said, the single friends with benefit, and then the married reading and they're just the three because so, because I, I feel like that's like something very common and then you find so that, yeah i got that uh Hi. this is uh, naka nawa naka niwa i don't know how the na got there but it was supposed to be me naka niwa, <laughs> naka -niwa. It, it, sorry um the courtyard or in the yeah, middle of it the is courtyard? courtyard yeah interesting enough well, then just having niwa, can, which can refer to a garden or a courtyard, naka niwa apparently just is a way to specify just a courtyard. Hi. Kind of weird. Um, can you read this for me? Uh, nakami. No. Oh, nakami. It's... No, this is nakami. You're correct. Um, it means contents. Hi. Nakami o tsukande. To grab onto the Content. Perfect. To grab the content. So let's go read the line from the book. Hi. So, 
it's a bucket of tsukande. I grab the bucket and kaidan o. Uh, to rush is ake. Close ka. Ka, ka. Kake ori. This ori is oru. Hi. Which is I think aru. it's ori do, actually. Ori But that was a really good guess. But um, if this was uh, never a copy talking that'd be a really good guess but remember that oru oru um if you're referring to oru like to exist right that is the same as iru as in you won't find it in compound words it'd have to be te oru hi once again it's not a compound oh this is a compound word it is not a helper verb hi, hi, hi. so oriru what does oriru mean money i forgot oriru is to descend Go down. Go down. Hi. So I rush down. I kake ori. I grab the bucket and I rush down the stairs. Nakaniwa no ido e towards the well in the courtyard or of the courtyard. To yeah, I, I go toward basically. You the mukao theoretically just means toward. It has a Go insinuation to it. Mukata. I, I head it towards it. Yeah, that's a perfect word to choose. Boop, boop, boop. Going to the new one. Um, can you read this word for me? Um, Michirogi. Yeah, Michirogi. This is to fidget. I mean, kind of small movement. Michirogi. To, to um, yeah, fidget. Small movement. Um, can you read this word for me? Do bunezumi wa. Do bunezumi wa. Michirogi mo shinakata. Here's the mo particle, right, Moni? After the jiro. But Jiro even more. So the rat, the sewer, the sewer rat, it's Shinakata from Shinai. Hi. It did not, it did not even move a little. It did not even frigid. Perfect. Did not even fidget. Did not even twitch. What is the causative form of sudo? Causative. No, it's sase. Saseru. Yep. Saseru. Perfect. Um, what does zu mean as a grammar point? Zu is without. Perfect. And do you remember how to read this word? You had an irregular reading. Um, was it oki? It was taiboku. Type of yeah, regular oh. that is. Like it makes sense, right? Because we got tai rather than o, but boku is a little bit weird. Like it's similar to moku, but weird enough that it's weird. Type boku, large, basically an oak or something like that. Any kind of huge ass tree. Yep. Huge tree. Uh, no. How do you say this Tori. word up here? Hi. Bird. Bird. Um, how would you say without with causative form? So without making something happen, without making someone do something. Without causative. Sa sezu. Yep, sa sezu. Perfect. So Mani, just so you know, about, yeah. About that Tori character, isn't it Bird? had multiple reading? Tori? Like, um, like sometimes it could be like that reading for like a... Um, like a crow, Nawa, or something like that? I think they you would have... add kanji to it to do that, but it does have a married reading of cho, like hakucho, which is a white bird. I see. But I don't I think, I... The... You... I mean, it's possible, but I don't think so. Hi, look at that. Row is ka... Ka... karasu. 
You're right. Karasu. 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 Does have that same kanji. Does it, Karasu. Does it have this kanji? Have, you're right. Karasu does have that kanji. Um, so, in the dictionary, um, they show karasu on its own. So most likely you would normally have the furigana above it saying karasu because it also hi. has um, a different kanji, this one here, and katakana karasu as like the thingies. In in the case of, of our book, when Khan was in that tree, when at that, by that tree, the bird that they were, were referring to were blackbirds, right? They were blackbirds Bird. and they were, they are crows in the, um, the English version, I think, or they're ravens. But I'm pretty sure they don't give kanji above this bird kanji in the book. So you would assume it would be tori um, rather than karasu. Uh, for this kind of book, they probably would have wrote it in katakana for karasu versus like a different animal. Um, that would be my assumption. But I could double check to make sure that they didn't say karasu. But I'm pretty sure they just said tori here. Hi. Um, I was just curious. Totally, totally. Um, what I wanted to point out around the thing about causative form is that you can use causative form for yourself doing an action if for like certain verbs. Like, um, for example, in this book, we saw a twinkle, which I can't remember what verb that was, but we put it into causative form to mean they made his own eyes twinkle rather than just a natural twinkle that the word twinkle insinuates. So that's the second use of causative form is to make yourself do a do a verb yourself. Um, would that would that mean that that verb has to be the um it has to be a verb that take ga as opposed to o. It has to yeah. be an intransitive verb. Yes. So it's basically a way to turn an intransitive verb into a transitive verb. You can use causative form. Yes. Hi. Um so let's um it, in this one theoretically it's not an intransitive verb because um sudo means to do so um so it just needs to be an insinuated intransitive verb um so it can take o oh, but the so like right here to twitch right hi. There's no actual action going on here. Like the twitch is not something you're acting upon. So theoretically, it's not a transitive verb, but it acts like a transitive verb, like literally, but not grammatically. And you can use this this way. But basically, yeah. O cannot take a thing object. Because <laughs> that, that mo there theoretically is replacing um O. Grammatically, that's how pseudo works. Anyway, let's go read Hi. the book. Uh, Thai book needs to. Um, uh, the, the Thai book needs to matta. To matta. Right. Kuroi. Hori Tachiwa Michirogi Mo Sezuni Kochio Mitteru. Okay, so Dai Boku Ni Tomata come from the verb Toru to, to mm -hmm. take. Tomaru? To, to, no, no, tomaru. Ah, uh, no. What is tomaru, money? I forgot. Tomaru means to stop. In this context, though, it has a different meaning. We wouldn't really translate it as to stop, but that's the normal meaning of tomaru. You know what it's Hi. meaning in this specific context? It's a special context just for like birds, which is the reason why I'm not specifically telling what the English word is. Hi. What do you think? It I means? remember. I remember now. It's a tomat. Takuroi tori. So it describes the tori. tori. So, so. The blackbird that perches on the, the big tree. Perfect. Uh, tachi, referring to the pluralization of these. So it's 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 a numerous birds. Many bir many of these blackbirds. With regard to these blackbirds, um, Michirogi. 
here is the noun form of the of the verb michirogu. Is that a thing? Michirogu? No. You <laughs> think so. Not, that is but... not a thing. But this is just a noun marked by mo. So um sezu ni kochi o kochi referring to this this direction mitteru to look towards or to look at these um i'm wrong mijirogi is actually stem form from the verb mijirogu which means to twitch <laughs> So michirogu is a verb. Here we yep. had the noun verb, the noun of that verb, marked by mo, and then sezu is. I I was kind of wrong about sezu being um causative form. I thought I would said satezu. Hi. <laughs> which would be right. Um, but. Uh. Here it, it just it's sezu. just a irregular way to say without. You do sezu because. Uh, that's just the ear. <laughs> so here it's say without even a twitch, without right. even a twitch, and then it's say nikochi. What is that, Moni? You mean kochi? But it has the ni in front of it. Well, I put it over here because it's ze, zu, zuni, zuni. Ah, uh, so this ni here mark uh, this as an um adverb to describe yes. the action of mitaru. Yes, so zuni always has ni as its particle. Sometimes, though, they just don't say it out loud. I see. So, so he, he, uh, the birds, they were looking at me, kochiyo, right. without even a twitch. Yep. Basically, they, they not even moving. A frozen look. Right. You're going, gee. Very him. creepy look so coming from the black birds. So rude, these birds uh, just creepily staring at is. us. Um, how do maybe you read? Been there for a long time. So so. <laughs> how do you read this word? Khan, Khan is intruding upon their uh, home. <laughs> they're like, "Why are you coming here, Khan? Don't you dare listen to any of our conversations." Hakeori, <laughs> hakeori is to rush down. Perfect. And do you know what um oto suru means? Relational form plus tosuru. Otosuru. Otosuru is the form that is you try to do something but you fail. Perfect. A miss attempt. So, so. Um, so let's go read the line from the book. Hi. Baketsu ni mizu o kumi. I scoop the water. Into the bucket. So no mama atatakai dai dokoro e. And in this way, towards the kitchen that is warmth, modoru, modoro to shite, I attempt to return. Hi. But fail oh. to return. Uh, hatoshita. What is this hatoshita? sound effect is telling us? Hatoshita. Ha, something surprising happened. Yes, it is. It's a gas of surprise. And then it followed by to, which marked that particular surprising sound. Shita is hi, hi, the hi. Su. Perfect. So I was surprised. Yep. Was How surprised. do you read this kanji? Uh, this is a. Uh, Breakfast, but it's not asa. It's not asa. It is actually a uh, shoujoku. That's shou a really shaku. good guess, but it actually is asa meshi. And the other one you're thinking about does use the asa, which is the cho. Oh, I did do that right. Cho ah, cho shoku. Right here, where it has the tabemono shoku kanji. So this guy is so right that shoku, be... and this one is meshi. That was the. This was the cho. Wait, money. Awesome. So cho shoku is breakfast. 
Hi. Asa Meshi, also breakfast. Yes. Hi. Synonyms. I think um, Choshoku is a little bit more polite sounding. So the main character, Khan, tends to think Asa Meshi, while people say like Choshoku out loud. I see. Um, This word you almost never see with kanji, and I think you'll recognize it from anime. Can you read it for me? Chiku shou. Chiku shou. Oh, it's mean like crap or something like that. Yeah. Darn it. Darn like it. That. <laughs> What's the causative form of this word? Chiku shou. Um, causative. This is ku. This is ku, right? To eat. Yep, it is ku. So causative is kuwa seru. Yep, kuwa seru. Perfect. Kuwa seru. Make to someone let eat. eat. Or in this case, it is to let eat. You're right. To let eat. Hi, so chikuksho. Chiku, that is hard to say. Chikuksho. I guess you don't want to say oh, the ooh at all in this word. It just, just it kind of becomes a glottal shock. Chikusho. Chikusho. Nebari wa karada o arai? Arawanai? Arawanai. Arawanai. So he say, Nebari wa karada o arawanai to so this doesn't make sense unless you connect it all together because the nebri wa is not the awara naito part. It's actually the kuwasete part. Um, Asa meshi o kuwasete kurenai undata. So he making an emphasis on the verb kuwasete kurenai. What does data mean? Data is like an emphasis, right, Moni? It emphasizes. That's a good guess, but it's not the meaning of data. Uh, I know you know that. Form of it that. is past. So, and then we have nai. So basically, it means won't in this context. But right. Moni, here is um data. Yes. So it's no data. Yes. That's because could and I cannot touch that, that that'd be disgusting. So in a way you are right, there is a emphasis going on here. Mm insinuates reasoning. So here um, he say it's like that... kara, but more grammatical and less dramatic. That's the same thing we see in no de in between clauses. That's that mm right there. Some this sort of say a... no that, that and it'd be the same. Okay, so he explaining something. This Hi. is this no had a sense He's of explaining, explaining the chikshou. Uh, he explaining that he is not allowed to eat Hi. breakfast. Kure mm -hmm. nai. True, and he won't be allowed, allowed to eat breakfast. If what happens, he won't be allowed. And here it say, nobody wa karada o. Arawa nai to. And so this is a strong if. Hi. That, but this to almost sounds like when. Yeah. It's like tara, but stronger than tara. Yes, it's a cause and effect relationship that normally shows like a 100% relationship. But since we use Hi. nai, it just means like, you know, that kind of must meaning. If I don't blank. <laughs> In mathematic money, we say if and only if. <laughs> we have a special it. term, like if is not good enough. <laughs> you have to say if and only if. That means it can only happen under the circumstances that so, so. I had already washes myself. I had shower. I, exactly. I had clean. Yep. If then I don't I wash my body, everybody's not going to let me eat food. <laughs> but the problem is it's so cold. It's he so cold. No, poor, no poor Kong. Free, froze oh, to man. death before eating breakfast. Um, do you know how to I read wonder this if word? Nebri, yeah. I'm curious. Does Nebri himself clean? Does he <laughs> arawa? Does he arawa? 
Probably. He probably, he probably uses his water. magical stone, though, the heat of the water, you know? <laughs> Why does he have this expectation on the boy if he doesn't the boy do it himself, is dirty. You know? <laughs> he's or he just want to He's kitanai. Ex- I think when he said karano arai, for- he's really just talking about the hands and his face. You Maybe know? the hand and face. You're right. Yeah. It's be unreasonable. <laughs> Don't 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 right. touch the food with your dirty hands, boy. <laughs> oh boy, I imagine Khan is very dirty. Like <laughs> for for Nebody to be constantly talking about washing like that. I mean, he picked him he up on the street. Dirty. He's he's a homeless little street urchin, poor poor kid. Uh, of course, Man. he's going to be dirty. He's constantly hungry too. I, I'm so getting it now. I'm, I'm I'm having a sense of how bad his life is now. <laughs> um. Uh. He he ki kae kae shita. Hi. He ki kae shita. So I go and I return. Hi. It's kind of metaphorical. It's used with all together. Mean like right here. It says um to the front entrance hall. I he ki kae shita. I round back. I yeah, back to retrace your it means to retrace your steps. Hi. Or to come back to a location you were at personally. So he returns to this location basically. It's a lot like a modori. Hi. This this hiki have a sense that as if there was an invisible thread. Yeah. That he could pull himself back into the original location. Exactly. It feels that way. Perfect. And can you read this phrase for me? Um, this is the neck, so, so. which is a kubi. Hi. A kubi is the neck. Kubi o. Yoko, horizontal. Yoko ni, futa. I shake my, ne- I shake the head, the neck in the horizontal. Perfect. And here is our last line of the day. Hi. So, I do ni. きかえしてバケツをおろしバケツのみずでかおとあくびとてあしをさっとあらったとらさっと is right away hi quickly I quickly, okay, so there's two clause. I'm sorry. So let's start with the first clause, which is oroshu. I go down. Good guess. Orosu. I take think down. It, yes. So the bucket, it was in the high place somewhere. Hi. Well, and because it's going into an idol. You can't put it into an idol from level. I see here. So, Ido ni hiki kae shite. I return this bucket. Mm, I return to, to. I return to the well. I return. I return. I is the. Wait a minute. Yes, I return. I is the one that doing the hiki kae shite. I, I... I return to the well and. I lower the bucket and I quickly or I immediately washes my hands and feet along with the neck and face with the water from the bucket. Perfect. So sasatto is um quickly as in the do it like imme- like start the action immediately. Sato without the extra sa just means to do fast. It doesn't actually mean to start right away. So he's doing this whole thing quickly, probably. I see. So just do it for the heck of it. Just do it so that yeah, I can good. eat. Yep. Um, just do it fast. Do it fast. So he's he's 